Hi everyone, my name is Cristóbal Olivares. I'm a photographer from Chile. And I would like to take this opportunity to talk about my project, The Eternity of Tomorrow, Police Violence Against Mapuche Youth. The Mapuche are the largest indigenous community in Chile. They are concentrated in the south of the country, mostly in the Araucanía region, which is the poorest region in Chile. With a population of almost a million, 17% lives below the poverty level. For almost a century, they have claimed their right to recover ancestral lands and natural resources that have been affected by the negative impact of the forest industry and state business. In the absence of a responsive government that allows the restitution of the land, and with the forest industry taking aggressive measures to acquire more territories, the level of the conflict in the Araucanía region increased. Mapuche adopted measures of pressure like the squatting of the land and properties demand. This claiming right process and the increase of clashes generated a negative reaction from the government that resulted in the criminalization, harassment, and persecution of leaders and the militarization of these ancestral territories. The violence against the Mapuche has serious and specific consequences on children and teenagers. Derived from repressions, criminalizations, raids, interrogations, and other actions carried out by members of the Special Operation Forces, the Chilean police. Different NGOs and the National Institute of Human Rights counted 133 cases that include several police violence against Mapuche youth in the last five years, while many other cases have not been reported. During the same years, 2,241 bullets have been fired by the police in the region. Those cases are rarely reported through traditional media, but brings as a consequence misinformation letting the Chilean population know very little about the Mapuche struggle and their demand. This project focuses on the experience suffered by the Mapuche youth, documenting testimonies of repression, psychological and physical violence, and the, the importance of their territory. I traveled there for the first time in 2019 with the support of the Magna Foundation. I wanted to see by myself with the camera as an excuse what was happening and how the communities were living with this struggle. After getting to know them and getting a little bit of trust from the communities, I was invited to travel around their territory and stay in their homes to live with them from time to time. During this period, I interviewed and photographed several families and testimonies. I saw how these kids were facing this fight, how they speak about it, and how they embrace their future. Also, how they felt about their territories that is so often under a ghastly presence of repression. I learned in the importance of their worldview and culture and how it's so important for them to take care of these sacred lands. But also, I wanted to pay attention at the psychological aspect of it. What is the overall feeling of it? How does it feel to stand there, to look at these trees, forests, to sense the feeling of community? I got to know stories of little kids that has to live with the memories of seeing their father being imprisoned many times, very often under false accusations, during demonstrations, or even during raids, raids at their houses during nighttime, where they feel safer is no longer a space for them. One of them said to me, nighttime is not the same anymore. Sometimes it's longer. I never know when the police could come. And this is the common feeling for the kids living there. Or for example, the story of Brandon, who was shot at short distance by Sergeant Christian Rivera. Brandon almost died, and now he has 80 lead bullets inside his body and has to overcome several surgeries. My main goal was to take photographs, but I quickly realized that I needed to also 
thinking other kind of outputs if I wanted to put this work out there in order to share my experience and opinion with different audiences. I registered as much as I could, as I often do with my projects, not only the images I could do myself, but any other visuals that could help to strengthen the narrative. During my research, I found out that many kids were naturally drawing scenes of repression. Like here, Welly Wen, one of the main characters in the short piece. So, as a way to turn out this project into a collaborative view, I wanted to use this kid's drawing to incorporate their feeling into my photograph and into, especially into this piece. Also, I include the footage that the communities were recording on their cell phones. Their only weapon to document firsthand the constant repression in the zone. They recorded when the police break into their spaces, home or territories, into their fields, but also during demonstrations. This is where the wonderful video editor Kate Emerson worked with me and helped me to make sense of all of this, to make sure that the Mapuche way of seeing their own fight was also there. <laughs> 